So we just finished our bronze medal match here in Medellin and we got a yellow card on the field of play. Left to right, Basically, Eric was on the shooting line, had finished his shot, and Brian was standing on the one meter line, which counts as being across the one meter line. We got yellow carded. So we have the one meter line and the shooting line. The one meter line is meant to keep archers back from the shooting line in order to give each team an equal amount of time to shoot their arrows. The first archer is going to go up to the shooting line, shoot their arrow while the second archer waits behind the one meter line. Once the first archer is done shooting their arrow, they have to step back clear of the one meter line before the second archer can go up to the shooting line. And the same for the third archer. So there are two things that you cannot do in the team round. The first thing is that you cannot have two archers pass the one meter line yellow card, yellow at card. any given moment. The second thing is that you cannot have an arrow out of your quiver until your feet are straddling the shooting line. So if you have an infraction and in breaking the rules of these two things, then you will get a yellow card. That's when the judge is gonna call your country and hold up a yellow card. That is going to be a basic time penalty where you have to come back over the one meter line and start again. So the protocol to dealing with the yellow card is to drop the arrow that's in your hand, come back over the one meter line, and start everything over again. Normally it's really easy to shoot in the time limits that we have, but if you can't deal with a yellow card, then it'll make shooting a lot more difficult. Good recovery there from going early. So the key to succeeding in team archery is being able to like your teammates, for one thing. Teamwork, communication, and above all, being able to perform on the day. They share the points, anything else? And they've got the set, and uh, they do indeed get a nine. And Canada go 4-0 up over the Netherlands. Recovery from that, well handled.